Torching is one method of installation of modified bitumen products. It's one of the better methods, in my opinion, in Florida due to the direct heat, eliminating any potential for moisture from dew or humidity. Adhesives and asphalt and other methods can sometimes entrap that, but uh, with a torch, you're going to pretty well ensure you don't have any moisture if you're paying any attention at all. So the torch needs to be applied back and forth very evenly across the sheet. Uh, you don't want to walk on the sheet. You want to use a, a pull stick so you're not displacing the bitumen with your footprint. So uh, sometimes it's a good idea to have a roller man behind you. There's couple things you need to know about a torch roll um it's got a selvage edge on the side lap however not on the end lap this is dyna wheel cap fr john's mantle product you can see our selvage line here it's about three inches so your true bond is really from here to here we set our rolls on our lap line so we've got about a half inch give or take and it's it fluctuates where the granules are, are embedded in the sheet and you don't get as good of a bond there. You can get bleed out, but your true bond is where your selvage seam is, which is why we have to prepare all of our inlaps or our base tie-ins at walls before we torch to them where there's granules applied to the sheet. We'll take a look at that. Uh, the way to prepare an inlap is to heat the sheet up to the point you can actually press the granules into the matrix of the sheet. Uh, this will achieve basically a selvage edge. It'll leave a nice smooth surface of bitumen that you can embed your next sheet into to create a, a permanent bond. Uh, when I'm inspecting a torch roof, uh, I use a tuck pointer as a probe. It's a, it's a perfect tool. And I just stand uh, down the roof looking up against the laps. And things really just kind of jump out at you when you're looking up the roof. Uh, you can probe around and check all my T-joints and Anything that looks suspicious, I put that probe into and, and see if I'm going to get into that selvage area or beyond. If I find a T-joint or a loose T-joint, uh, I can push the probe in. And if I'm getting further in than about a half inch into my selvage, uh, I mark that and that's, that's got to be repaired. If you have any questions about our processes or, or our products, um, check us out at www.barberjacks.com.